Hey, let us talk about Tonchi again. And this time, let us go further into our grim journey. But as always, before we are getting right into it, please like this video and subscribe, and if possible, also share this video as well. Now, with that being said, let's get right into it. Beginning this time with the Slavic mythology. Kernobog, often referred to as the Black Gods, stands as a stark figure in Slavic mythology. His name, meaning something like Black God in Old Church Slavonic, encapsulates his associations with darkness, misfortune and malevolence. So, as a deity of evil and the night, Karnabog embodies the antithesis of good and is often portrayed as a bringer of calamity and woe. This deity's role in mythology is characterized by his opposition to the forces of light and goodness, often represented by his counterpart, Elobok, the white god of light and goodness. Karnobok's presence is most notably acknowledged during the night and, of course, in the winter months when darkness prevails over the lands. Depictions of Karnobok vary, but he is commonly portrayed as a fearsome, shadowy figure, embodying the dread and mysteries of the night. In some myths, he is ascribed during rituals and folklore tales as a god who receives curses and ill wishes during festivals, symbolically taking on the community's evils to maintain balance. Now, let's change the realm again. This time we're going back to an indigenous folk. Apush, recognized among the ancient Maya as the god of death, presides over Mitnal, the darkest and deepest part of Xipalpa, the Maya underworld. This deity is often depicted with features that emphasize his dominion over death. So, skeletal, with protruding ribs and an owl's head, or accompanied by owls, which were considered harbingers of death. His appearance is marked by bells that adorn his hair, signaling his presence with their mournful toll. As the ruler of Midnal, Apush is associated with decay, destruction and disaster. He was feared for his ability to bring about plagues and diseases, and Maya believed that he roamed the night announcing his presence with the sound of a howling dog. Another creature connected to death in Maya lore, and in other mythologies as well if you remember previous videos. Apush's role extends beyond mere destruction. He's a crucial figure in the cycle of life and death, and by overseeing the lowest level of the underworld, he is instrumental in the transition and transformation of souls after death, ensuring that they meet their fate according to the deeds of their mortal lives. So, despite his fears and attributes, he was also respected and sometimes propitiated with offerings to avoid his wrath and ensuring protection against untimely death. Rituals involving him would often be performed with great care to appease his destructive nature highlighting the complex relationship between the Maya and the forces of death and decay. Now, let's go to Yoruba. Here we have Iku. He embodies death itself, holding a pivotal role in the spiritual and cosmological framework of the Yoruba people. As a personification of death, Iku is both revered and feared, seen as, again, an inevitable and natural aspect of life that brings balance to the human experience. Iku is not merely a bringer of demise, but is also a necessary transition point for the soul's journey to the afterlife. His arrival is not arbitrary. It is believed that Iku only comes at the appointed time, decided by Olorun, the Supreme God, and the Orishas, the deities, and thus ensuring that the cosmic order is maintained. This highlights the Yoruba belief in destiny and the 
predetermined nature of life and death. In Yoruba society, Iku is often portrayed as impartial and ineffable, ensuring that each individual meets their fate without prejudice. The Yoruba people engage in various rituals and ceremonies to honor or appease Iku, seeking to understand their destiny and find peace with the transition that death brings. Now, here we have Again, quite a few similarities. Let me know if you catched a few in the comments. Venture with me into the shadowy realms of ontology, where hidden connections and forbidden knowledge await. Together, we will uncover the dark secrets that lie beneath the surface of these ancient tales, revealing that there is much more to mythology than mere stories, and there are profound truths waiting to be discovered. So, join me on this journey and let's explore the mysteries together. Thanks for watching.